Hi, I'm Simon Mander, from, uh, the owner of Avanti Conveyors from the UK. Um, for those that you don't know, that's a small island off the coast of Europe. Um, I want to tell you a little bit today about um, digitization from a materials handling company's point of view. And firstly, really, what is digitalization? Um, digitalization is to enhance human performance. Um, historically, we thought that to enhance human performance was to integrate us with computers, completely replace humans with computers. Um, alas, the younger me would be very sad to see that Tron didn't become a reality. But what became a reality was that we invented robots. We invented robots to uh, aid with um, our physical performance. We had, um, introduced helper robots to help us with intricate performance or repetitive performance. But most importantly, we introduced information to help human performance. So simply put, the more information you have, the more knowledge you gain, and the more you will perform. So I want to show you two software products where we've integrated with materials handling to give more information. Um, we have two products, the Pegasus Palletizer, and I'll show you how we've uh, introduced a simulation emulation uh, system to, to prove the performance of our palletizing line. And our conveyor systems um, to give more knowledge to, to target improvement programs. So the Pegasus palletizing line is our rotary and flatbed die cutting, uh, separating and palletizing system. Um, and palletizing separation has a very complex uh, element, and that is the optimization of your die versus the configuration of the load on the pallet and how that affects the rotary die cutter or flatbed die cutter's performance. So historically, this is usually calculated with a set of tables or the operators will run the job on the shop floor and get a feel for how that runs. Um, so it's a bit of a hit and miss um, approach to, to understanding a palletizer's performance. Um, that data is there, or that information or knowledge is used then to, to set up a, a schedule. So the, the actual run times that you're thinking that a job can run out will often vary dramatically from what's, what's achievable. So we thought with something better than that. Um, we've in, uh, developed a system called Avatar, which is the digital twin of Pegasus. So we've taken uh, the actual um, Pegasus line and created a digital mimic of every action. So that's to replicate all the physical actions. Now this isn't an animation or a simulation, it's an emulation. So the actual PLC code that runs our Pegasus line is used to run Avatar. What that means is you can pre-job, uh, look at the outs on a die, look at the pallet formation, and prove the performance of the line. In a pre-sales environment, um, you're often uh, trying to fit a palletizing system into a tight space. Some elements may be removed, and we can show the exact um, uh, performance of the line once that's done and, and why it's important to keep some of the elements. So as the actual PLC code runs the line, um, it gives us great advantages. Um, once you've chosen the layout, we can completely uh, simulate the, the software. It means very fast startup time. And then in the factory environment, uh, or classroom environment before the Pegasus is installed, we can train the operators on, on how the machine will run. The second piece of software that I want to show to you is our Impress Insight software developed with Smurfit Kappa in the UK. The Impress is our finished goods central palletizing control system. Um, and often um, this area is a bit of a black hole in terms of um, information. So it's been de rigueur in the industry to track material um, uh, in a material sanding system since the early uh, 90s. Um, but there's not very much feedback on the performance of a conveyor system. Now in a finished goods area, um, a shift supervisor may come in the morning and say, how is it running that area? And they'll say, finished goods system blocked. It doesn't really give the improvement team much to go at in terms of where do we concentrate our efforts. And in that area, there are tens of processes. There are strapping, palletizing, wrapping, top board loading, top sheet loading, uh, uh, sample boxes, uh, and my favorite fork truck collection and takeoff. So insight, uh, and, and usually that feedback is, is operator driven. So the four data collection system will have a simple set of codes, and the operators are very busy trying to get boxes out the door. Um, so we've integrated with many OEMs here um, to give automated feedback to the um, to the control system. So we'll look at the wrapper, um, whether it's automatic or not, how long it was out for film. And each of these uh, uh, reports, we can drill down into real detail uh, each shift. We'll look at our own LPD system. 
um, and we'll give the engineering team some uh, direction on what to prioritize first in terms of maintenance. They've got a finite amount of time and, and resource, so we'll look at an encoder that may be failing and report that to the team. And we'll look at if it's a barcode-driven system, how often there was misreads, why there were misreads, where there were misreads, was it data, was it the quality of the label? Um, and my favorite, fork truck takeoff. How long were the fork, uh, loads waiting to be taken off from the fork trucks? Um, and uh, information there. So those two products give more information, gaining more knowledge, allowing the operators to perform. If you'd like your materials handling digitized, please come and see us in the main area. The bar is